The link between the concepts of resistance and amperage can be very simply shown with a couple of light bulbs here. In this first setup here, I have a 40 watt light bulb that's being powered with this extension cord. Power comes in, goes through that connector and through the black wire there, feeds the light bulb and the neutral leg completes the circuit. In this setup with this 40 watt light bulb, here is my uh, non-contact ammeter. I connect it and uh, come on in closer, take a reading because I can't really take the instrument off there. We have a readout of 0 0.31 amps. So that's what's flowing through the circuit. The amount of resistance that the that the light bulb has, it's similar to this one. There's a filament in it and that filament has some resistance to the flow of electrons. Otherwise, if you just connect the hot with the neutral, it's just going to short and blow a fuse. But uh, the filament is flowing and is showing, sorry, is slowing down the flow of electrons. And in this case, uh, 0.3 coulombs number of electrons flow through the circuit every second. I'm going to change the setup. I'm going to add the light bulb in series. You'll see what happens. I added a light bulb in series. You can see how the power is coming in through the hot, feeding the first wire, feeding the first light bulb. The uh, neutral wire is connected to the hot of the next one, so it's feeding off the first one, and the neutral leg connects the circuit that way or com completes the circuit. And you can see that they're both visibly dimmer than the f than this bulb was in the first setup, and the reason for it is that the combined resistance of the filament in both of the light bulbs slows the flow of the electrons even further down so much so that instead of 0.3 amps the amperage that's going through is come on closer take a look at the reading there it's in the magnitude of 0.2 amps it's definitely not 0.3 and you can take a look at here's another reading it's going to be the same number just give it a few seconds to get there there we have it 0.2 amps okay and again this is how the uh, concepts of resistance and amperage are uh, shown very easily their combined resistance chokes down or restricts the number of electrons that are uh, traveling through the circuit. Okay? And in this third setup, we're back to the original brightness. Now we just doubled the brightness because both of these light bulbs individually only restrict the electron flow to the original amount, 0 0.3 amps, regardless of where we measure it same number both of these bulbs are uh, being tapped into the same amount of power at the same time and resistance is not doesn't have an additive effect on it on the number of electrons that actually that actually make it through the conductors but of course if I measure the amperage at this point the resistance the resistive nature of uh, the light bulbs does show up look at it now the combined load is 0 0.64 amps if I measure it there at a point uh, at a point of supply before the incoming uh, number of electrons are split into two ways okay so Resistance doesn't use up electrons, resistance slows down and stops the electron flow. And if you have more loads, more electrons will flow. If you have fewer loads, fewer electrons will flow.